gonna talk about the planer. We're gonna talk about different things to do on it so then you're not beating your planer to death and you don't have to send out your blades to get sharpened every single day um, and use the planer how it should be used. First thing we're gonna kinda of talk about is planer depth. Uh, when you're first planing a board, you wanna make sure that you don't take off too much because if you take off too much at a time, um, it's gonna kinda of bog down your planer, it's gonna to be too aggressive, you're gonna get a lot of chatter um, chipping out on your board. Um, so you wanna make sure that you take off the right amount of depth each time. Basically, for hardwoods, it's usually about a sixteenth of an inch at a time. Um, for softwoods, you can get by with up to an eighth of an inch. Now that depends though, because the wider the board you have, um, the more it's running through the blades at a time, so you wanna maybe slow down or still take off lighter passes if you have a really dense board of hickory or something like that that you're trying to plane. Um, take even lighter passes than a sixteenth of an inch off each time. So there are a couple different ways to figure out how much of a bite you're taking into your wood. Um, one is the old school way of just taking your tape measure, measuring the thickness of your board, um, going to your gauge, and then just removing a sixteenth of an inch or eighth of an inch or whatever you're taking off um, from the measurement that you had. Another neat feature is actually this Indicut thing, where you can actually put your board right up into there. Um, it's gonna tell you how much you're taking off at a time, and there's no measuring or tape measures involved. Um, Lastly is the guess and check. I do not recommend that way. One more last feature we have is the repeat a cut. So if you're trying to get a consistent one inch thick board every time or three quarter of an inch thick board, um, you can actually slide this little lever right here and bring it down to a consistent three quarters of an inch every single time because it'll stop um, cranking down once you hit that stop point. Another thing I want to mention is making sure that once you get your appropriate depth that you're taking off, make sure you lock that into place because you don't want your planer knives to start going down on your board uh, by gravity or if your table actually starts going down too, um, whichever type of a planer you have. So just make sure you lock that into place too.